everybody and welcome to this tutorial. This is a tutorial about the song Never A Time and there is a chord chart for this at in my shop. If you want to go over there and pick that up, it's got all the key changes and everything in there just like the Perry's do it. Um, it does have a little bit of a twist. It's not exactly the way they do it. Um, but this is a really great song and I've had some requests of to just go through it and talk about it because it's a little bit confusing because of the keys and the tags and all that. So if you want to learn this song, go pick it up at the um, at the shop, at the chord chart shop, and go ahead and get your copy and watch along with this video and we'll figure this thing out together. So we're just going to go piece by piece. We're going to start with the intro and just move on through um, to the end. So it's going to start off in the key of D flat and then it will modulate to the key of D and then it will modulate again to E major. So there's lots of key changes, but let's talk about the intro. So the chords are written out there for you. So the dots that are written in the chord chart just symbolize beats. Okay, so a letter is a beat and then you have two dots which tell you to do more beats, okay? So have some sort of a swing when you play this. Just like that. So that last part where it goes A flat to G flat, those kind of come a little faster. It's not A, G, it's but the intro is pretty much self-explanatory if you know the chords. And if you don't, feel free to look them up on Google. Um, they are available to you there if you're not sure about a certain chord. And also, if you check back in another video, if you are a gold member, you have access to this video. Um, I have a tutorial coming out about how to read a chord chart. So if you have any questions there, they'll probably be answered in that video. Okay, let's look at verse 1. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Let's go through and play it. Here's how you would do it. Verse 1, now go into the chorus. Tell me a time he's not been faithful. Tell me a morning. Okay, so here is a quick little lick you can do in between those. You can go to mo to go up to your D flat over B flat chord. Do D flat, F, A, B flat. So D flat, F, A, which you're basically just outlining a D flat chord. the rest of the chorus is the same thing so just repeat those verse 2 is the same thing as well now the hard part and what I wanted to talk about comes in the tag so you're in the key of D flat major but in the tag you've got all kinds of crazy stuff going on that's not part of your key so it's written out for you you're gonna start on a B he can work miracles and then you'll have a G flat or B flat through the impossible F sharp minor in your left hand with an A in the left. And F sharp minor in your right hand, A in the left. If you don't believe it, then you're going to do this walk up. Just go on and try. Now here's the tricky part that I've had questions about. Is the actual modulation. It's the actual key change. So the way it's written, you have the A flat sus, and then it automatically goes to A sus. So the piano is going to sound like this on that last line. That 
that's what that's going to sound like. So you can tell in the piano that it has changed keys, but the voice is also going to allow you to realize that. So here's how it goes. You don't believe it, just go on and try. And then you'll go from there. So exactly what's written on that chord chart is exactly what you're going to do. And there is a little voice repeat that you can do, like as the lead singer is holding out those notes, um, somebody can say, just go on and try and repeat that. And then underneath it, you'll see that we have finally reached our destination, which is D major. And then you're going to go through and play half of the chorus in D major. So it goes, tell me a time he's not been the D major chord and then go to B minor just like that mercy is word new tell me a moment he was able here's another key change now this time we're going to E flat major okay so you're going to have an A sus then you're going to go to B flat sus That's how, you, that's how you're going to change that key. So the way that it is written on the chord chart is exactly what you're going to do. And it's important for you to realize also you're going you're gonna to have to know what you're supposed to be singing in order for it to really make sense. I mean, you can play it like this and kind of make it up as you go. Um, but be sure that you know what you're doing with your voice. And then I have, we finally have reached our destination to E flat after that. And you'll finish playing the chorus in E flat. Okay, and then it goes back and does this little tag of kind of half of the chorus. Day he was less than you can also do this. So outline your E flat chord to C minor. Not roll back the tide. Child, when you look back, you're gonna find there was never a time. looks confusing and it kind of feels confusing but just follow what the chart says because that is what is going to lead you through the song okay so if you have any other questions let me know um but you just saw it in action and now it may click a little easier so if you haven't already uh join me all over on my website by becoming a gold member there are lots of tutorials on there and there's new ones posted very frequently and I also put stuff on the printable library so there are some core charts on there that you might have to buy as a just you know not a member um, but if you become a member a lot of those are free to you so with that being said I hope to see you over there if you have any questions about that you can email me as well and you can also check out a video on my youtube channel that explains the gold membership and how to do it and all that okay so thanks for watching <laughs>